practice meditation first thing in the morning. The feelings, sensations, sense impressions that we experience with the body tend to be slightly different from the evening or the night time. But the way of practice is the same. We bring attention to our posture as we begin our meditation. So you can put your attention on the crown of your head once you're sitting comfortably. Just slowly move your awareness down your face and release any tension in the muscles, the cheek, around the mouth, the jaws. Notice the position of your head. Is it drooping one side to another or in front or behind. Notice your neck. It's another place of tension. The neck and the shoulder muscles. If you need to, you consciously relax. And send your attention down one arm, the right arm, down to the hand. Just let your right hand gently sit on your left hand, if you're comfortable with that. But notice any tension in the muscles, relax. Send your awareness down your left hand, our left arm to the left hand. Again, relax any tension. Send your attention down the back. <coughs> Try to keep your back erect, pushing up from the base of the spine rather than trying to hold it up from the top. Notice your chest going down to the stomach. Sometimes we have Tension in the stomach muscles. Maybe you notice your stomach intestine are empty because it's the morning if you haven't eaten anything yet. Any sensations or feelings are just to be noticed with mindfulness. down to your hips, the sensations of your hips and your legs touching the ground. Maybe the ground is hard or soft, depending. Notice how your legs are. Are they comfortable? Are they unnaturally straining in one direction or another. And notice the points of contact between one leg and the other leg, on the legs and the floor, the cushion. And send your attention down to your toes how your foot is resting, whether it's comfortable or not, straining or hurting. As 
So you're becoming aware of the body from the inside. Sending your mind all around the body. You're also noticing the contact between skin and clothing, skin and the air. Maybe the air is cool because it's the morning. This is a good way to begin meditation, become mindful of the body, the posture, the sensations, and reflecting that none of these things are a being or a person or a self. Just noticing sensations, feelings of pleasure and pain, or neutral feelings, there's parts of your body where it doesn't feel either painful or pleasant. It's just a kind of very ordinary sensation, feeling. But there's no self in any of these things. Your mind is just witnessing the way the body is first thing in the morning. We don't have to judge it. It's good, it's bad right, wrong, I like it, I don't like it. We're just knowing it as it is in the present moment. We don't have to project into the future how our life will be in the future, our health, this body, what's going to happen to it in the future. We don't have to dwell on the past. Just training in sati and sampajanya, mindfulness, clear comprehension, directed to the body in the present moment. Now we bring attention to the breathing. So to help, you can take a few deep breaths. So you find the sensation of the in-breath, the tip of the nostrils. And observe the, the way the lungs fill with the in-breath. And the abdomen rises up. Then the abdomen falls, the lungs deflate, shrink back, and the breath goes out from the nostrils again. And this breath really doesn't have an owner either. Just training mindfulness, clear comprehension to witness the breath. But if we start to take ownership of it, then the mind may try and force the breath to be a certain way. If we're trying too hard to concentrate on the breath, then we can create tension or even pain around the breath say at the tip of the nostrils or in the forehead. Or sometimes people develop pain in the chest because they're trying too hard to force the mind to be with the breath, control the breath. So we notice the beginning of the in-breath. Then there's a pause as the mind and the body prepare and then there's the out-breath. So 
So notice how long your particular in-breath is. Just naturally how the rhythm is going. The pause and the out-breath. There's a pause and then there's an in-breath again. You notice when you first sit down, your breath is often faster, shallower, especially if you've been moving and so you walk through the forest to get here. Maybe your breathing is a bit faster. Then you sit down and stay still for a while. Then the breath settles down, becomes more subtle. Slightly longer breaths, perhaps. And the rhythm slows a little bit. Maybe the breath becomes subtle and you can't find the sensation, you can't notice it anymore. Or maybe the stillness of the body means the mind starts to go to sleep from lack of stimulation. And we become dull or drowsy, and again, we're not aware of the breath. So we can also try counting. <coughs> breathe in, count one. Breathe out, count one. Breathe in, count two. Breathe out, count two. Up until 10. Using the counting just to hold our attention with the breath. Making extra effort. Knowing that when we lose mindfulness, we lose count. Very clear indication that our mindfulness has slipped. But then we start again, back at one. Even if we reach nine in-breaths, nine out-breaths, but then lose count, to start again at one. We're not doing this to impress anyone. We're just doing it to train the mind in mindfulness. So you can afford to be very thorough and honest. If you lose mindfulness, then just start again. The re reward you get from practicing mindfulness of breathing is and the mind begins to settle down and you're letting go of many other distracted thoughts and the mind becomes brighter, more content within itself. And you reach a point where the meditation becomes almost self-sustaining, enjoyable, the breath becomes interesting. It's no longer a big effort to stay with the breath. As it becomes more interesting, the awareness becomes more subtle. Knowing the beginning, the middle, the end of the breath, the full breath. In the mind, your awareness is happy to Stay with the breath and study it, learn from it, be with it. In the beginning, it's harder because of the other distractions, memories of what happened yesterday, plans about the future, the mental activity takes the attention away from the breath. So you have to be very patient as you practice, be willing to put up with that. And the other possibility is that you become still and then dull and then drowsy and sleepy.
but as you practice more and body and mind relax, you find an interest in the breath itself, in the practice itself, and that brings its own energy that keeps us going, gives us some energy to work with the distractions, to put up with any painful feelings, itches, different sensations. And from there, some insight can arise. Because once the mind is more calm and content, it's easier to just recognize the natural qualities of experience. The arising and ceasing of thoughts, sensations in the body, memories, and all the sense contact we have, hearing a sound, smelling, tasting, touching. When the mind is more calm and at ease, then it's easy to observe impermanence arising and ceasing of phenomena. And that changes the attitude of the mind towards physical and mental phenomena, loosening the grip, the identification with sense of me, mine, myself, my reaction, my love, my hate, and developing more what we call detached awareness, equanimity. So we can carry on practicing until we uh, hear the sound of the bell. <laughs> 